Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today, uh, we're gonna do an unboxing on a pair of shoes that I've really been looking at for the last couple of years. Um, I went into my box and I pulled out some of the Crockett and Jones hand grade shoe trees, because this is a hand grade pair, uh, which we'll be using this for. So I wanted to uh, have those handy. Now, um, if you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember that I bought a pair of willow grain shoes uh, from Meerman that I wanted to test out against a pair of willow grain uh, from Crockett and Jones. Now, uh, they had a, uh, this is called the Balfour, and it is part of the um, uh, the hand grade line at, at, uh, at Crockett and Jones. And uh, what it, what it is, is it's a split toe derby. And by the way, look at this box. It's very cool. Uh, has Crockett and Jones on the outside. It's Crockett and Jones on the inside. And all in all, just a very cool presentation factor. And here we go, okay? Now, um, this is a split toe derby. This is in willow grain. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare a high-end version of willow grain with a entry level. And so this is the high-end version that we're gonna be looking at today. Now, when I first looked at these, um, they were available on the website. They were uh, about $1,000, so very expensive, and uh, not available at any of the dealers for Crockett and Jones, so I had to buy direct. And so I wanted to uh, get see if I could get a better deal, wasn't able to, and then they were discontinued. And when I investigated more, uh, then I, uh, I found them occasionally on, but they kept getting discontinued. And so we, um, eventually I found them online as part of their end of year sale and they had some in stock in my size. So I decided to go with it, but you can see it's got a beautiful double sole. Uh, it has no, uh, finishing on the welt. All right. It doesn't look like, um, although you can see the stitching very clearly. And it is tight stitching. Uh, you can see square waist, okay, flat sole, closed channel. Um, very nice looking. Nice, well nailed heel. Small piece of rubber there. You can see the the willow grain. Very high quality. Everything you'd expect to see in hand grade. Now, the uh, one thing about hand grade is that these are hand dyed. So they did a really nice job with this to have this really develop into a beautifully proportioned shoe. Now, uh, you can see the pattern. The heel counter is well north of the heel, which is what I like, what you see on all the really high-end ones. Now, if you compare this to an Edward Green, you know, this is not skin-stitched, but the apron uh, is one of the patterns that they use there. And if you compare it in price to an Edward Green, um, you know, this is quite a bit less still. Um, I was able to pick it up on sale. It was about $900. Um, so I did save a little bit and that included shipping. Um, so not, uh, not and, and import taxes, I might add. So um, not, not a bad deal. And I was just lucky to get it in stock and I ordered it on Wednesday. Today's Friday, so you know it got here very quickly. So I'm gonna take the hand grade bag and here's the other shoe. Very clean. 270 welt, so you don't see the welt join there, but very clean on the the welt there, very clean on the welt here. You can see relatively narrow waist, just clean sole, clean all the way around. Gentleman's corner or notch. Again, stitching. It's all done there. In the end, a very nice shoe. Now, uh, again, comparing it to other split toes, it does look pretty similar. Now this is hatch grain instead of willow grain. And you can see that this stitching is a little different, although it is still a join of two. Um, this is the Dover from Edward Green. 
and this is the Balfour from Crockett and Jones. All right. Again, you can see a little bit of a difference in the toe, but not terribly much, especially given the fact that this is, even at list price, you know, good 500 bucks less. It is a uh, very well executed. Um, now, what's interesting is that the lining on this is different also than most of my other Edward or Crockett and Jones shoes, um, but it is still just as soft and um, has a solid insole or sock liner, but not a, uh, so it's still a leather sock liner, which is good because that means your feet won't stink. And, um, you know, it also means that it's thin enough so it'll still work well with the, uh, the insole below it. So very nice. Very excited about wearing them. You get some crease there in the leather. That's the kind of thing I would not expect from Edward Green that you, and I'm not terribly unhappy about with Crockett and Jones. Again, not too bad. So this is your hand grade Crockett and Jones in color. Uh, the first pair of hand grade that I shared uh, on the channel was black, which of course does not have the hand dyeing. Uh, so it's a little bit different, but these have the full shebang and excited to share them with you all today. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will get these on the hoof and do a comparison with the other Willow Grand shoes as well as with the higher and lower end split toes.